So let's discuss Gabriel synthesis and let's talk about our key points first here. Number one, Gabriel synthesis simply provides a way to synthesize a primary amine in very high yield. And the second thing we're going to learn here is that Gabriel synthesis involves the acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an amide. So let's see how this reaction works. Let's look at the overall reaction first. Notice you got a lot of reagents here. But let's talk about a quick product method first. In this reaction, all you're doing is taking an alkyl halide and converting it into an amine. Notice, look at our reagent, our alkyl halide. Notice the BR right here. All we're doing is replacing him with an amine group. And notice this amine just happens to be a primary amine. Remember, that's our first key point. That's what this reaction helps us synthesize. But let's look at how each reagent plays a role in making this transformation happen. First, you have this thing called pathalamide. What's going to happen is he is going to react with the OH- first. And let's get a good look at that here. This molecule that you see in front of you, this is pathalamide. And when you add the OH- to the pathalamide, it's simply just an acid-base reaction, meaning that the OH- base simply rips off that acidic hydrogen right there. And what we get is the conjugate base of the pathalamide. So that is just the first step here. Then the reaction keeps going. After this happens, then we now add the alkyl halide. Remember, going back to our overall reaction, all we've done so far is reacted the pathalamide with the OH, and now we're in a second step adding the alkyl halide. So let's go back to that here. Here's what happens in this particular step. The electrons on the nitrogen simply attack this carbon and boot off Br. You should recognize this reaction from organic chemistry 1. This is simply an SN2 mechanism. And the product of this reaction is simply this right here. And remember, since we booted off the Br, our side product would simply be Br minus. However, the reaction continues. But let's pause for a second here and let's notice what we have here so far. If you look right here, notice this is simply an amide. But it's not the only amide. This is an amide right here too as well. And remember, let's go back to our overall reaction. Where we are in the process here is now we're right here. We're at the second step in this case where we're going to add the HCl, water, and heat. Remember, these are the reagents for acid catalyzed hydrolysis. So let's go back over here to where we left off. If we add the HCl, water, and heat, since this is acid catalyzed hydrolysis, then what we're doing is simply acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an amide. And there's two of them again. Remember, one here and one here. Both are going to be hydrolyzed. We learned this mechanism in a previous online lecture. And we also talked about how to get to the quick product. Remember, hydrolysis of any derivative always leads to simply a carboxylic acid. And remember, in the mechanism, the side product was this amine right here on the right. However, remember, we performed this reaction in acid catalyzed conditions. And remember, acid catalyzed implies that the acid is regenerated in this reaction. So if these two products were sitting in a, an acidic solution, then our amine would actually be protonated because of that. But remember, let's go back to the overall reaction. We're supposed to just produce a primary amine and it's not going to be protonated. That's why we need this third step in the reaction, our third and final step. This OH- only serves one purpose here, is simply to remove that extra proton there on the amine to make him just a simple, stable, neutral primary amine. So that is why all these reagents are necessary to perform this reaction. So let's put our knowledge to work here. Let's look at a sample problem. Here it says, provide the necessary reagents to synthesize pentylamine via the Gabriel synthesis. Notice we have a 5-carbon amine. And if we're going to use Gabriel synthesis, of course, remember, it all starts with the pathalamide. And the first thing we do, remember, is add the OH base, which rips off the hydrogen of pathalamide. And then we're supposed to add our alkyl halide next. But what should our alkyl halide look like? Well, 
of course, it should be five carbons long. And it should have a halogen, of course. Because we know overall in this reaction, we're going to replace that halogen with the amine. And then we just add the other necessary reagents to finish this thing off. Remember what comes next is the acid catalyzed hydrolysis. And then, of course, the four-step OH taking off the extra proton of the amine. So this is how we would pull off the synthesis of pentylamine via Gabriel synthesis. So there it is, our key points here. Number one, Gabriel synthesis simply provides a way to synthesize primary amines and we get a good, nice, high yield. And two, let's make sure we know that Gabriel synthesis involves the acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an amide.